The Landlord and Tenant Board has decided a family staying in Toronto for almost a year doesn't qualify for tenant protections, in part because they were staying in an Airbnb. As CTV's John Woodward reports, it's a vindication for the landlord in what became a nasty dispute, but others worry this will make it possible for people to be evicted with a click. Most drawers were empty. This is how Tianning Ning's Airbnb stay ended in this Toronto home, according to video from the landlord, taken just before they seized the home and removed the rest of Ning's property. And it's been extremely difficult. That was two weeks ago, more than five months after landlord Suzanne Porter asked to move back to her home during the fallout from a medical emergency. Ning and her family said no, claiming they had tenant rights, and the case went to Ontario's landlord and tenant board. Ning argued she was a tenant. Her kids went to school in the neighborhood and she worked from home. We are not travelers, but LTV, the LTV today decided that we are travelers. The adjudicator found it was not a tenancy because the family paid taxes on the rent. They had a checkout date and that date was not going to be extended. Member Peter Nicholson said, I find at the time of booking it was the tenant's intention to remain at the subject property until June 30th, 2023, after which the tenant and her family would be returning home. I do not find the tenant at any point in time was seeking to establish the subject property as their permanent residence. But he warned the decision may not apply to all short-term rentals. This is a terrible situation and I'm sure there are landlords that will take advantage of this. Uh, the group Fair b, &B says new Toronto restrictions pushed thousands of short-term rentals into the long-term market, now a legal grey area. You know, there are going to be a lot of tenants that will be at risk of um, being evicted by essentially a cancellation of the booking. Relieved. Um, just so thrilled that uh, the adjudicator Nicholson came out uh, with the order in our favour. For Porter, it's a vindication, but she says it was such a nightmare, she's warning anyone against using the short-term rental platform for long-term stays. John Woodward, CTV News.